Features. Hello and welcome to the Boxing Features Review Show, the weekly show where every week I take a look at some of the best fights that happened around the world over the past weekend. Before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button for plenty more Boxing Features content coming to you every week. Now without further ado, let's get to the fights. Boxing Features. So not many fights to talk about this weekend as it wasn't a very active weekend for boxing but I'll start off by talking about the title fight for the vacant European EBU Union heavyweight title and that was fought between Tony Yoka against Joel Twombe Jekko and it was what I expected really. Yoka was coming forward, it fantastic jab, really used his jab brilliantly, looking for that big over the top right hand for most of the fight. That got a bit reckless sometimes, I must admit. But he was backing Jekko up from from round one, really. And he just backed him up, mainly to the corner, which is how the fight ended, from really early on. But I must say, I was really impressed by Jekko. He really came to win. He wanted it so bad. You can not question his hunger, but... Yoka was just proved too much for him, and it got to the last round. It looked like the fight was going to the distance, and then Yoka just backed Jekko up into the corner, and he was there for over 20 seconds, and he snapped his head back with a beautiful uppercut. Then he just kept on coming in with those over-the-top right, over-the-top, over-the-top rights, and that's when it did get a bit reckless because he weren't landed many, but then he just landed a beautiful, 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 sharp, crisp, iron jab. And that, it was it was a fantastic shot. And surprisingly, I was shocked, was Jekko actually turned his back, giving the referee no other option but to stop the fight. Tony Yoka gets a round 12 TKO. And we look for where Yoka can go from now. Yoka versus Joyce is still a fight I would love to see. Obviously, I think Joyce is that slight step above now because he's looking for that Usyk fight which is happening on later this year but I want to see Yoka against a big name I want to see him against Hergovic I know I think that fight happened in the Olympics didn't it um I want to see him fight I want to see him fight Zhang maybe if Zhang comes back we spoke about Zhang last weekend that'd be a great fight but let's get Yoka out let's get him against some of the big boys and I'm looking forward to it We've now got Clarissa Shields versus De Care, and it's another fight which played out really how I thought it was going to. Shields just proved too classy and is now the first ever two-way undisputed world champion in the four-belt era. So, fantastic, absolutely fantastic for Clarissa Shields. As I said in the preview video, I think she's absolutely fantastic. She dominated her, her shot selection, was perfect. I really did enjoy those counter straight right hands down the pipe they were absolutely fantastic obviously the care was trying to get close range shield said after the fight about the headbutts and the elbows but obviously that just happened she weren't annoyed and shield was looking for the knockout as she always does but she rarely gets it she only got two knockouts on her record but yeah, she won every single round on every single ju uh, judge's scorecard. There was an argument for maybe one or two, but really I have no n no arguments with that. We're all winning all 10 rounds because Shields proved their dominance and there isn't really much to say apart from, please, 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 can we make Savannah Marshall, Savannah Marshall versus Clarissa Shields? That's all I want. So that's it for today's review show. Not much to talk about this weekend, but next weekend we've got a really big fight night in Estrada and Chocolatito, the rematch number two. I'll be talking about that on Friday's preview show, and there's a whole host of fight nights next week, so join me for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for plenty more boxing features content, and as ever, thanks for watching.